if this kind of hurts the brain is a little abstract, it's okay. We're going to take a deeper dive and we'll have, um, we could put it in context a little bit more next project when we're talking about multiple level design and we're passing data from one level to another. Um, but it's a great question and uh, we'll, we'll address it here. Um, for example, I'll use this cube as something that I want to uh, come back essentially to, you know, uh, to be available. Right now, we start uh, in this idle state, we start uh, because we are um, in the start state of our game, okay? Now, for the sake of this demo, I'm, I'm not going to destroy the game object, okay? Um, because, you know, there's, there's a little illogical loop using the, the pre-existing stuff that we have that if I destroy the, the game object, um, I would have to restart the level. Uh, in order for it to reappear, okay? And by the way, there is uh, inside Playmaker, um, there is a level category which will allow you in really simple terms uh, to restart a level. So, um, you know, in this case, we're respawning. We're not restarting. Um, but in the is dead state, we could avoid the respawn and just say restart level, and then everything would basically reset. Um, but that logic is limited in terms of, you know, now you're not spawning at variable locations, you're not hitting milestones, there's a lot of limitations to that, and that's why um, I'll, I'll briefly uh, show you this next bit of logic. Um, so I'm not destroying the object, and that's kind of key to reset this. We would hide it or we would deactivate it instead of destroying it, just, just for the sake of the demo. Um, what we would get into is uh, we would create an event that's a, um, a global event, which is a little bit different um, then uh, the, the kinds of events that we're looking at. So if we, we go to events, we would make an event that we would call restart as an example, okay? Now, right now, this restart event is only available to the state machine uh, that uh, owns it, right? So if I right click and say add transition, I can, I can go to restart, but if I go to my health manager, if I go to my health manager, and I were to try to uh, add re restart, it's not available here, okay? If I go back to my cube here, I think that's the right one, yep, restart. If I check this, restart, um, uh, that makes it a global event, meaning that it's one that we can call and we can look for um, through other state machines, okay? So as an example, if I go back to health manager and I right click, I look up, Global transitions, should be there. Bear with me for one second, let me make sure that, where did my cube go? There we go. Restart, I wonder if I'm borrowing a, maybe it's a poor name, but it should show up here. Global transition. Hmm. Okay usually shows up uh, in this list. I'm not sure why it's not showing up, but yeah, it could just be, you know, who knows. But so, um, where'd you see it? I don't see it. Custom events, there it is. Okay, thanks. I'm not sure, usually it shows up in that start list, um, that list at the top, just like other events do. I'm not sure why. Um, but you can see now that I have an event that I can call, okay? The thing about, um, uh, Global transitions, custom, restart, is that we can assign them anywhere in the loop. We don't have to, um, just like the start, the start's basically uh, a global event. Okay, so we can call this now from any state machine. Okay, so let me back up. Uh, I'll go back to my cube. Where'd it go? This one here. Um, I'll add global transition, restart, there it is. Uh, I can call the restart command from is dead now, um, and it will use this action to launch, uh, launch this. In this case, so basically it's, it's doing the equivalent of a restart here. Um, so we would go to health manager, and here in the dead state, we would look for state machine, and we want to do a send event. Somewhere in here is a send event. There it is, send event. Okay, so when we're doing a send event, we can talk to 
itself and say, okay, do any events, any transition events that we've established, um, or we can look at um, specific game objects. But in this case, the logic would be, you have enemies running around this, the, the scene, um, you want to destroy all of them and then respawn all of them in, in a start state, uh, you would do broadcast all. And then once you broadcast all in your global events, you just choose anything that's set to global. Okay, so now when I'm dead, uh, we can test this. Oops. Maybe we can test it. Okay, here's my, my cube. This should, uh, once we pick it up, that first cube will be stuck in the picked up state. Okay, we can see it's stuck there. But once we're dead, you can see now it restarts and fires back because that restart has been called. So you can talk to other, okay? Um, not required for this project. We'll get into that in kind of a, a more thorough logic.